It can be really frustrating as a farmer because we know that the kind of farming that we're all talking about here, real organic, regenerative organic, whatever you want to call it, it already exists, but it's not really being fostered by the system that we're in because the consumers truly want to support us, but again, they're being misled as to what they're buying. You know, the picture on the carton is the beautiful uh, chicken out on the pasture, but that's not the reality <laughs> of where the egg comes from. So right. uh, we know consumers want to support it. We know those farms exist, but they're really struggling right now, particularly in egg production and organic dairy as well. Do you think it's possible to reform the National Organic Program, even though we've really struggled under the last two administrations? Or do you think people must pursue the creation of an alternative to the certified organic alternative? Well, uh, I'm not sure it's an either or. It may be that uh, an alternative standard is a way station toward the broader reform of the main standard. Uh, what I was saying a moment ago about uh, lobbyists and campaign contributors uh, using their influence to chip away at standards, that, that is something that we have to deal with in order uh, to really bring the uh, the USDA standard back. Uh, when I was vice president, uh, when this organic standard was first put in, I went and looked up uh, the language. Their expert advisory panel defined uh, the standard uh, this way, as an ecological production management system that promotes and enhances biodiversity, biological cycles, and soil biological activity based on minimal use of off-farm inputs and management practices that restore, maintain, and enhance ecological harmony. Well, uh, that's good, but that's been chipped away at, and you have these lobbyists that have been able to come in and make exceptions. Uh, and it's a little bit like uh, how when people uh, get angry uh, about big tax loopholes and invariably, uh, the, the wealthy interests that benefit from new tax loopholes are ones that have hired the fancy lawyers and made the expenditures in campaign season and wine and dine the right uh, uh, people in their process of persuasion. And, uh, and, you know, over time, that has resulted in more power for special interests at the expense of uh, the broad general public. And it's that precise mechanism that has operated to weaken and undermine uh, the national organic standards. So while we're fighting to get them back where they should be, we may, uh, in the meantime, need to follow an alternative standard. And if they fail uh, to respond to us, maybe the alternative standard would get more support and really become the one that matters to more people. 